A seemingly tranquil Thursday afternoon in late February was disrupted when fire personnel were called to a large garage blaze off of Old Shakopee Road. It was a uh, large garage, like a three-stall garage, uh, with a lower level uh, shop area and um, had a house, a large house, right next to it within about 10 or 15 feet of the garage. The first fire crews were on scene in just four or five minutes and according to Forrester, it was fully engulfed in flames. Realizing the garage was a total loss, crews quickly turned their hoses to a nearby structure in harm's way. The first crew there really uh, did a nice job. They got their hose line laid in a position that they could put water on the house and protect that from catching on because the, the fire was blowing right in, you know, in the direction of the house. So, and there was a lot of heat being thrown off by that. Other than some exterior damage to the home, the efforts of the firefighters kept the blaze contained to the garage. And while Forrester told us the cause of this particular fire is still being investigated, garages are full of material that can help fuel a fire, literally. You normally store things in your garage that you wouldn't store in your house, you know, like flammable liquids and other hazardous materials that, uh, um, you know, you wouldn't want in your home. So. You know, they pose a, you know, an extra problem for uh, us when they catch fire because of all that extra stuff in there and, and the, just the way they're built. Most garages in this city, especially, uh, you know, on the east side of town are open where they're not sheetrocked and the attic space is open and, you know, once they catch fire, uh, it doesn't take long for them to really, uh, you know, involve the whole structure. Forrester would like to remind residents to call immediately to report a fire and not assume someone else already has. Four fire stations comprised of 25 firefighters were on scene that day, doing their best to keep both residents and property out of harm's way. Our firefighters here all live in Bloomington. They're all residents. They all have a lot in, at stake here with the fire department making sure it's uh, you know, performing properly. And uh, it really comes down to really giving the community a good service the old saying continues to hold true, firefighters, they serve to save.